After high school, I plan on attending Kalamazoo College to study biology on the pre-med track because I want to become an orthopedic surgeon and I'll also be playing volleyball. After high school, I plan on attending Siena Heights University to continue playing basketball and study business and accounting. Um, I'm planning on going to GVSU probably and majoring in computer science. And then after that, getting some job in uh, programming. To attend Wayne State University and study pre-med and also continue my running career there. I'm planning to go to GRCC for a year or two and then I want to transfer to either um, Michigan State or um, the University of Michigan to study astrophysics. Well, I'm going to go to Baker College to become a radiology tech and get my associate's degree there. I plan to go to Michigan Tech up in Houghton for electrical engineering as a major and a minor in aviation engineering. Obviously something in aviation for a job, but I don't really know specifically what. Uh, probably maintenance and maybe NASA. After high school, I plan to go to Illinois State and I'm gonna study exercise science as well as play basketball. Um, I plan to attend Bear State or Davenport for nursing. I'm going to GRCC and then I'm gonna transfer to some university, I'm not sure which one yet, to study journalism. I really wanna be an editor for like online like websites and stuff like that. I plan to go to Moody Bible Institute and I'm planning on majoring in elementary education, but I'm not positive yet what I wanna do. Um, I plan on either going to Cornerstone, Cedarville, or Spring Arbor Universities after high school to become an elementary teacher. After high school, I plan to uh, probably go out of state and work in Colorado, but um, mainly just get into the workforce, you know. I might go to college, but it depends on just day to day, I guess. <laughs> My plans for after high school, as of right now, are attending Moody Bible Institute in Chicago, and I'm not sure exactly what I want to study yet, but I have a strong interest in missions. A gap year so I can get a job and save for college. And then after that, I'm gonna go to College of Creative Studies, most likely by Detroit, for 3D modeling or 2D animation. After high school, I plan to attend Grand Valley State University to pursue a degree in either music education or something in English I haven't decided yet. To go to GRCC or Kendall to do interior design and then do interior design for a little bit and then probably go back to get a master's in architectural design. I intend to study at either Ferris State University or Central Michigan University and I'm going into elementary education. I want to be a kindergarten teacher. I plan on going to Aquinas to play softball. I haven't decided on a major yet, but maybe something with education. So I plan to go to Northern Michigan University for speech, language, and hearing sciences, and I hope to work in hospitals with people who have suffered strokes or brain damage. After high school, I plan to start off at GICC, then transfer to Grand Valley for elementary education. Um, I plan on going to GRCC for their hospitality program. I went to KCTC my junior year for their hospitality program, and I really loved it. I would say a highlight of my time at Kent City is just playing sports and being involved. A highlight would be um, going to marching shows and being at competitions for Winter Guard. I really loved hanging out with my friends, especially I really loved sectionals because that was just hours of just goofing off with my friends. When I was down in the dumps, my coach is always being there for me and helping me get back to where I was. And just helping me be the best person I can be. One of the highlights of my high school experience would be this year and just having the chance to have a senior year and not have it end like last year. My highlight changes every year, but I think it would always be the drama production because that is something I put a lot of time into and it's, it has a lot of camaraderie and it's really fulfilling once you get it done. And I would suggest anyone coming in to try drama for at least one year because it is a blast. When we won state championships for Winter Guard, 
because that was um, Kansas City's first ever Winter Guard, and then we just went out in one state. So that was like amazing. <laughs> just being around everyone and growing up with the same best friends and just being around a lot of the same people and yeah. Um, playing volleyball and one of the highlights from that is like the people and just good coaches and stuff. Um, a highlight of my time at Kent City would be um, when we had our first Winter Guard show um, my sophomore year and we got first place throughout the entire season. It was surreal. A highlight from being in Kent City would probably be my this year volleyball season because we tied first for our conference and it was really exciting to beat Morley. So yeah. I would say um, this year I have had the opportunity to become um, a homecoming princess on um, senior court this year. That was a lot of fun even though it looked different than past years. Um, I just loved getting all snazzed up and having a great time. My highlight would just be participating in things and um, in sports, meeting new people and making friends and stuff. Probably the best highlight of my high school would just be the camaraderie that I had with the people here, especially during homecoming week. Uh, I think we're the type of class that usually doesn't like to participate, but during homecoming we really participated and just had fun and even with all the things that happened we all stayed very close to each other and just yeah. A highlight of my time at Kent City is definitely being on the volleyball team throughout all years because I met a lot of new people at this school and at other schools and definitely learned a lot and out of that whole experience my favorite part was winning Dig Pink junior year because we definitely just it means so much to us as volleyball players. My highlight, um, probably the homecoming games, even though we didn't get to this year, which is sad, but um, even in years past, it's always really competitive and I love competing. And um, at the same time, it was like great to spend time with friends and stuff. Tug of war, winning tug of war every year, of course. A highlight of Kent City is just getting to know new people and trying new things and putting myself out there. Definitely one of my favorite moments of high school was when the band won a state championship my junior year, like the first time ever. It was so, it was just surreal. It was amazing. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, a highlight of my time here at Kent City would definitely be just the people and the relationships you form while you're in high school. I think that's really important and it really makes or breaks your experience. A good highlight of my four years at Kent City has been the homecoming games and float building, but I especially liked our junior year because we had a really fun time with the hallway decorating. Everybody got involved and it turned out really nice and we actually won. A highlight of my experience would probably be just homecoming games and then my sophomore year of softball. We won districts and that team just came together really well. We all had fun and we just enjoyed it and played well together. So a highlight during high school was my sophomore year during track when my mile relay team won state with um, Kylie Brown, Taryn Preston, and Lauren Freeland. Advice for underclassmen would be to try and get involved with different activities, work hard, do your work, and just have fun because you only get four years of it. I would say that even if you don't know what you're gonna do with your life yet or what you wanna pursue, keep working hard in high school and get whatever you need to do done. So then once you do find out or if you wanna experiment, you'll have lots of opportunities. Um, I would say to have fun during high school because it goes by really fast and to join, play sports and join clubs. Uh, my advice for underclassmen would be to just not stress about your grades too much because I know I did that and it was not fun. Like I would worry about it so much sometimes and it doesn't really change much. Like after a certain point of worrying about your grades, it just doesn't help. My advice for underclassmen is to just really actually pay attention when your teachers make you go on Khan Academy and stuff because your SAT score actually is important 
It can get you a lot of money when you go to college. It can open up a ton of different scholarships for you, and it just, it's a big deal. My advice for underclassmen would definitely be to make everything fun, especially if you have difficult or boring classes. Find a way to make it fun in every way. Keep a positive outlook and maybe add some humor in there because that'll get you through it all. Um, I would say don't procrastinate, especially when you get into higher grades and you have harder work. Like just get it done with and don't let other people ruin the short years that you have here. Don't, yeah, just don't let other people ruin it for you. My advice would, and this is a philosophy I live by, um, philosophy I always stand by, is don't do anything to anyone for any reason. Um, no matter where you are, no matter who you're with, ever, um, whatsoever, uh, no matter what your circumstance is, ever, for any reason. Okay, my advice for underclassmen is gonna be really cheesy, but it would be just to be really, really kind to people because I think people don't realize that like what a difference your words make and your actions, and it really, really matters how you treat people and you saying something to that one kid that no one ever talks to can make a huge difference in their, in their day, in their week, in their month. You know, you never know, and I just think people don't realize what a strong impact they have on people and you should really try to be kind. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> uh, my advice for underclassmen is uh, just enjoy the time you have because once you get a job in college, you're not gonna have much time for yourself or friends or the things you like doing. So just do the things you like and try to make high school a really good experience where you look back at it and you think, wow, high school was fun. Whether it was hanging out with friends or playing video games every night till 1 a.m. My advice would probably just be to make sure that you stay on top of your work because I feel like a lot of students kind of let it go <laughs> as time goes on because they don't feel like doing it anymore, but it can really help your grades stay up there. Uh, my advice for underclassmen would be to definitely buckle down and get your homework done and not to procrastinate till the last minute. And don't stress yourself out too much. And definitely don't use the high school bathrooms as a hangout spot. <laughs> My advice for underclassmen would probably be just to try out sports because it's a great way to make friends. And it's just really fun and really makes high school a lot better. My advice for underclassmen would be to get involved in school, whether it's sports or any sort of clubs. It makes high school more memorable and more fun. Um, my advice for underclassmen is Work hard, get good grades, but remember to have fun because you only have four years here, so you may as well have a little bit of fun while you're here too. Uh, my advice for the underclassmen would just be mindset is everything. If you think you're gonna have a crappy year, you're gonna have a crappy year. Um, if you think you're gonna have a good year, it'll be a good year. Even if the situation isn't what you want it or the best, it will be better if you have a good mindset. My advice to underclassmen is to not stress too much. Some of the things you'll probably stress about isn't worth the stress, and as long as you work hard, it'll be all fine. My advice to you would be don't stand in the middle of the hallways. If you're gonna talk with your friends, just go to your lockers. <laughs> I'd give the freshmen and sophomore especially the advice of do your homework and um, your grades really do matter even though you're like, man, that's so far away from being a senior. But once you're a senior and you're filling out scholarship applications and college applications, they ask you like what your GPA is and um, how you did in high school. And um, if you slacked off and as a freshman or sophomore, it's gonna really downfall or yeah, downfall your um, your opportunity to get a scholarship or get into a college. So really take your study seriously, even though it might be hard. Um, just enjoy it while it lasts and make the most of it because it goes really fast, even if you don't think it does. My advice for underclassmen would be to just have fun and enjoy it because time goes by so fast you won't even realize it. I would like to thank any teachers or people that support extracurriculars. 
mostly. Uh, I think of Mr. Schnicky with band and drama and a little bit of forensics, Mrs. Brown with forensics, uh, Mrs. Davis and Mr. DeGraff with quiz bowl, and Mr. Stuhan for boys golf. I like to thank obviously my parents for paying their way or paying my way through four years of marching band and um, I like to thank just all the teachers. I feel like they've dealt with all of this weirdness as well as they could, so I think they did a good job with that. I'd just like to thank my coaches who really pushed me in sports, and I'd like to thank all the teachers that really reached out and helped with homework and my parents. I would like to thank my teachers and coaches because they've supported me inside and outside of school, but I'd also like to thank my parents because they've been my support system my whole life and I wouldn't be who I am today without them. Um, I'd like to thank just my family and my friends and teachers for all being there and supporting me throughout the years. I would like to thank my family, mostly my parents, as well as a lot of the teachers I had here at Kent City and probably Mr. Crane a lot too because I always enjoyed seeing him in the hall and give him a hug or this year high five or whatever it would be. But um, <laughs> also uh, my coaches who helped me grow not only as an athlete but a person. I'd like to thank my parents, my teachers, my coaches, just everyone who's been there for me throughout my time. I would like to thank all my teachers, my friends, and my color guard instructor, Bobby Hazelton. I'd like to thank my parents that have always supported me and all the teachers I've had throughout my experience here at Kent City. I would like to thank my parents for um, pushing me to do the best I can and um, believing me, believing in me to um, do what I want to do, and um, just helping me out, especially in my in English because I'm not the best writer, but they really helped me become a better one. Um, I also would like to thank my friends um, who helped me through high school and are really nice. Um, I also. Lastly, I would like to thank Mr. Crane because he, um, he has been my principal for three years and he always brought a smile to my face even though um, sometimes I would be mad or whatever that day. Um, he was just a great principal and I loved it. And he also, um, he always also brought an energy wherever he went that was contagious, so I really like that about him. I'd like to thank anyone who dealed with my sassiness. <laughs> um, and just thank all the teachers that helped me get to where I am today. I would like to thank uh, my friends and my family for helping me get through school. My family and my friends would help me through um, like getting work done that I was confused on or something, or just getting through struggles that we've gone through as throughout the four years that I've been here. Um, I'm just gonna thank all the teachers and the coaches at Kent City for helping me out throughout the way. I would like to thank all the teachers, all the staff, coaches, and most importantly, my parents. I would like to thank my friends for keeping me sane through <laughs> all these four years. And I'd definitely like to thank Brianna Swift for helping me get through like some of the toughest and like most stressful classes. Hi, Brianna. I'd like to thank my parents and my brother because they've made my whole high school experience fun, getting me places, watching me in games, teaching me a lot. I'd like to thank my teachers for also teaching me a lot and my coaches for believing in me. Um, I would like to thank all my teachers, all my coaches, and even some friends. I would like to thank God, my family and friends, and my teachers. Probably through school at least. Um, Mr. Boyd, Mr. Boyd, Mr. Dad Coach Boyd. He's always been there, um, giving me advice, life advice, not just school advice, but life advice. And that's something like you can't really take for granted, you know? It's like something um, you can always have through, through all your life. And um, he's really been a, a second father to me, like at the point of um, when I'm in trouble or when I am questioning something, I always ask him for advice, and he helps me get through it. Um, I guess I'd like to thank my parents um, and my best friends. They just, they're always there for me through everything. So shout out to them. 
I would like to thank, obviously, my parents for always supporting me and believing in me and all my teachers that I've ever had because they've all had such a big impact on my life. <laughs>